So uh, then what? Then how can I see my uh, minimum noise figure? If you just go on one of these curves, each one has a constant noise figure. So if you see this curve, this uh, see this has a constant noise minimum noise figure. For example, let's say ch let's uh, check this point: 0 0.090, 0 0.090, 0 0.09. They're all same. As you go to the right side, this actually increases. Yeah, if you see. So we then we want to pick this because it has this is a very good thing because it gives us an idea that where should we pick our uh, biasing point. So this is a very good idea. It shows that we can pick, for example, 1.8 and 0. Point, uh, for example, 8.56 as our, uh, I'm going to show with maybe this point. So I have the marker here. As you see, this is my uh, contour. And here, maybe this is a very good point for me to choose. For example, here I have a VGG of 0 0.856 and uh, my VD is 1.8 which is uh, quite suitable. You also have to uh, think about your breakdown voltage because uh, if this transistor has a generally breakdown voltage of 2 volts so if this is 0 0.8 and this if this is a uh, 1.8 it's fine because the V gate drain um, has the break the, the DC voltage of uh, something around 1 volt which is uh, which is okay for us. So this is one of the things that you have to be careful about. And now we are going to check our max gain. Same method, we are going to write the same formula. So copy, I'm going to copy paste this formula and call this uh, max, max gain. It means the VDD for max gain and you're just choosing this max, uh, max gain 1. The definition is this. This is a this is a red because you have to find your range. This shows your range is wrong. It's very easy. I'm going to uh, get my max gain. So as you see, and I click here and change this to VGG. So my max gain is from 12 to 22. So that's why I have to change the range. So I'm going to make this. If you just once click on this, uh, 12 to 22 maybe with the steps of uh, just one should be okay for us now you see it's, you see it's a black it means that your uh, range is correct so now I'm going to choose this one go to equations um, add okay so as you see here uh, the region we chose was here yeah but uh, it sh I think that's actually a very good choice because it shows that uh, in this region, I can a little bit increase this contours. Let's make it a little bit more. Maybe uh, you can just o yourself also play around with it. 0 0.5. You see, this this point is a very good point for us. So I can uh, use a marker again. So it shows that uh, my max gain at this level. This level shows your max gain. Same here. Level. Level shows your NF min. Your max gain is 21.5. It means that if you go back to our previous course, it means that if you have this structure right now and you design a matching circuit at the input and have a perfect matching and design matching circuit at the output and having the best matching, it means that no mismatch you are going to get this gain from your this S21 from your structure. If you remember in previous course, we said that design for max gain. So this shows uh, our max gain. This is very good value. We are going to have a uh, very good value to 21.5. So it shows that this is a very good start for us to choose VGG 0.856 and VDD uh, 1.8, which is a very, uh, which is a perfect point. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses, in RF system and IC design with pass status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.